Welcome to the Pagosa Adventures podcast. So glad you have joined us. Now, if this is your first time, I would invite you to subscribe because we're always talking about leisure travel vans, RVing, gear, gadgets, and everything in between. We are on your favorite platforms, which maybe it's Spotify, maybe it's Apple Podcasts, or you're watching this on YouTube. Either way, hit that subscribe button. But today we are going to be talking all about Instagram and social media and how it can really connect you when you're out on the road. Most people have a Facebook, but does everybody have an Instagram? Because I thoroughly enjoy Instagram way better than I enjoy Facebook. And today I've got a special guest, Shay Kelly. Now Shay um, is an employee of my companies and she handles all of our social media. And she does that all day, every day, because it's a never, never ending process, especially when you're in business. However, I do my own Pagosa Adventures. Welcome, Shay. Hello. Now, you do help me with Pagosa Adventures in the sense of, you know, I am asking you questions all the time to make sure I'm optimizing it and I'm trying to grow it. And um, it's not growing as fast as I would like. Yeah. So you'll probably give us some tips <laughs> on that today. But first of all, why should somebody have an Instagram? Um, Instagram is the number one social media site. It is the best place to interact with people and to build a community if that is your goal or just to share any information that you have to give. So it's just, it's the number one social media app. Yeah. And what I like about it is it's not, there's no negativity. Yeah. Generally. generally I mean, yeah, yeah generally, um, and cause on Facebook you can run into all kinds of, you know, stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and so but with Instagram, it's generally just beautiful photos, mm -hmm. beautiful videos. And so let's talk about if you've never started an Instagram, it's mm -hmm. pretty easy because it's connected to Facebook and most people have a Facebook already. Yeah. So, um, yeah, step one is to start an Instagram. It's super easy. You know, you just download the app and set it up. Um, you know, when you're starting the Instagram, especially for your RV, keep your content to RV content. So if you have a personal Instagram, we recommend starting a whole new one for RVing and for that hobby of yours um, and keep your personal one personal. Yeah, because I have a personal one. Mm -hmm. And if you want to look at that, it's at Brandon Hensley and it's basically all dogs and, you know, because I, I, you know, I keep my RV life over at Pagosa underscore adventures. And that is all about RVs. And my personal one is just my personal life. Yeah. Because people who are interested in my leisure travel van probably are not interested in what I had for lunch yesterday, right? Exactly. So uh, so I keep those completely separate. Now, if you, I mean, it, you don't have to do that. You no, could definitely, no. but if you're wanting to grow your Instagram, I would, I would think that's the thing yeah. to do in the sense of, I mean, I do put some of my personal stuff on Pagosa Adventures as well, yeah. as it relates to generally RV, something that somebody would be interested in that decided to follow me yeah. because I'm an RVer, fellow leisure travel van enthusiast. Um, and so, but it's recently gone from a photo site to a mm -hmm. video site. Yes, absolutely. So it, I feel like it was a couple months ago now, um, Instagram came out and said, we are no longer a photo sharing app. We are a video content app. So they're really pushing the reels, their stories. Um, they're really pushing anything that is video based um, up towards the top and they're kind of, you know, suffocating the photos to the bottom. So video is the future of Instagram. Yeah. And I'll do some, I, I do a lot of reels mm -hmm. and I enjoy doing reels, especially when I'm out on the road with a van. Mm -hmm. Um, and those generally get a lot of views. Yeah. They, they usually blow up. Yeah, absolutely. And and then much more, they get a mm -hmm. lot more interaction than photos do. And reels are really easy to just to flip through. And, you know, somebody that might not be an RVer is going to come across your RV, you know, reel. And then now they're like sucked into this whole RV life and now they are an RVer. So, you know, reels are really an easy way to just swipe through and find content that you would never see day to day. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I, yeah, I, I really enjoy reels. Um, and it's kind of a, they stole the idea from TikTok, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about TikTok here in a second, but to continue with Instagram and the way that I use Instagram is I do, I do love putting photos still. Yeah. And so if you go look I and 90% of my stuff are photos Yeah. and I, I really tried to take photos of, you know, I love taking photos of the leisure travel van and good lighting, sunsets and pretty backdrops Yeah, with mountains and things like that. And unfortunately I don't get, I'm not like I'm not in the mountains today, I'm here at the office, but, um, 
I'd say photographs are still super important though. Yeah, absolutely. So Instagram, I like to see, or I like to look at Instagram in three segments. So you're going to have your feed. That's going to be your curated content. So your pictures, you know, things that look really pretty together, they're organized and they have like a story. They're telling a story. Then you've got your reels and that's going to be more of your like personal, um, uh, their personality is going to come out of that. You're going to be funny. You're going to, you know, give some information, things like that. Then you have your stories. So that's your every day. That's, you know, I'm eating lunch right now. I'm at this place. I'm here. That's going to be in the moment content that you just want to throw up there. Some polls, getting some opinions from people, but that's really how you would segment Instagram. Okay. And so, so let's dive into that real quick because photographs and, and reels, Mm -hmm. they stay on there. Yes. Forever. Stories disappear. Yes. How long? 24 hours. So they're on there for 24 Mm -hmm. hours. So if you, if you post something up there in a, in a, in a story, Mm -hmm. And you're and you're wanting it to stay on Instagram, then you need to turn that into a a, a photo, a video, or something on your post, yes. not your story. Or you can create a highlight. So there's also highlights that show up on your profile, and those are stories that you want to stick around forever. So something, you know, say you took a trip to like Santa Fe, and you want all of the stories that you posted while you're in Santa Fe. You can create a little highlight that's on your profile. That's every image you took on your stories during Santa Fe and you can title it something cute or anything that you want to yeah, do. Yeah, I did that. In fact, on our, my personal Instagram, Janet, um, Janet is loves the Royal for anything <laughs> Royal family. And so we go to England quite often and right after Harry and Harry and Megan got married, uh, we went to Windsor castle uh, for, you know, we, we always around our anniversary times when we're in England. And so we went on the tour of Windsor castle, went into the church where they were married on the steps that they came down. And so, um, I did that. I, I, I did that in real time on my story, yeah. just, you know, photographing her at the different places and stuff. And then I kept it. So you can actually see our, our day at Windsor Castle on my personal um, Instagram. So you can save them, mm-hmm. but you have to make a yeah. conscience effort to do that. Now let's talk reels for a second yeah. because I do reels. And it, the funny thing is um, that one of my most popular reel is just my dogs walking. <laughs> Which is funny. Everyone loves dogs. Yeah, everybody loves dogs. And so I, I did a reel and it just blew up mm-hmm. and for no apparent reason. Then I could go and do another one and it won't. Bl- and like I have 200 people that looked at it and this one had 10,000. Yeah. Why? I can't tell you. I honestly, I can't tell you. I don't know if anybody can tell you. Um, sometimes it's the music. Sometimes you just got on some coattail of something else and it took you somewhere really far and mm-hmm. everyone's watching it. But there's honestly no... At, at least as far as I've read, I read a lot about Instagram and I cannot find the actual reason why things blow up. Yeah, it, it, it makes no sense. It just happens. And one of my best ones, the funniest one I had, um, which go and look at it, it's Roxy rolling around <laughs> on her back and it's to um, Chubby Checkers, let's do the twist. It's and adorable. It, and, it, and it was like the music lined up perfectly with it. <laughs> And like 300 people looked at it. I know. It's crazy. I'm like, this is the one that 10,000 people need to see. Like the one of them crossing a bridge. Yeah. Just stupid something, you know? But anyway, yeah, there's no rhyme or reason for it. But the the key to that is just keep doing it. Yeah. Just post what you like. Because, you know, if you're watching it, someone else is obviously going to watch it. Because if you like something, someone else likes it. Yeah. And the reason I think that Instagram is important for our viewers is because it is a way for you to to get your story across. And especially if your family wants to follow along, Mm -hmm. I mean, you can put it on Facebook and sometimes, you know, Facebook, it can get buried in Facebook. You don't see every single post that even people you follow are on, but generally with Instagram, somebody can just go to Instagram and, and follow along on your journey. Yeah. Plus it is fun to, you know, to take, say, say I'm going to get a really nice shot of my RV at sunset tonight. And to, you know, plan that. It just gives you another thing to do while you're RVing, something yeah. creative and something that will last forever that a lot of people can see. Yeah. And you can also build a community that then when you're out, you know, RVing, traveling, you can have meetups and, you know, you know, you're just creating this, you know, community of people. And it's just a really kind community. I, I haven't been a part of the RV community for very long, but just watching Brandon go through it, it's a lot of very kind people. Yeah. And that's what I absolutely love. No matter where, I, whatever campground we're in, somebody always stops to mm-hmm. say hello, just talk about the weather. It, it's just a very, ple- especially in the days that we're in today, mm-hmm. where it seems like everybody's against each other and you can go to an RV park and all of a sudden everybody has the same interest everybody's traveling, everybody's enjoying nature, whatever it is. 
and it is the most pleasant place. And I found the same thing on Instagram. And yeah. so there are a few people that, that follow me and I follow them and we're always commenting on each other's things. And, um, and it's, even though I've never met them, I feel like I have a community with them. Yeah. And that's honestly my first, like my number one tip when it comes to Instagram is to be active and to interact with people, comment on posts that you like, you know, compliment people's RV builds, com- you know, just communicate with people and you're just going to build relationships. And that's the best way to make it far on Instagram is to be interactive. Okay. Let's talk about how to make somebody stop scrolling and look at your photograph. It just needs to be pretty, honestly. And um, you need to have a wow factor, whether that, like you mentioned earlier, a sunset or a beautiful backdrop or a fun dog, um, just something that is going to make them sit and stop and want to look at it. Um, Another way you can keep people on your post is having longer captions, creating stories with your captions, um, you know, really like pouring out whatever it is that you did that day, what you have coming up, just give them something to read and interact with. And then also carousels. So people are going to want to like swipe through, see what you have going on. Um, And Instagram is going to reward you for that because you're keeping users on their site. So when you say carousel, Uh explain that a little more. So that's multiple pictures. So instead of just a single picture, you've put two, three, four, five pictures and they're going to swipe through to see Mm -hmm. what's going on. Now, Instagram can be I mean, it's it's so simple, it can be hard sometimes yes. in the sense of, how, okay, how do I add another picture? Well, it, I mean, there is a little button there. It's mm-hmm. small, but I mean, as soon as you figure this stuff out, it's yeah. it's easy. Uh, but the one thing you need to know about the carousel, whatever you, whatever size you make the very first one, yes. the rest of them will follow. So if you make the first one a square mm-hmm. and then the next one you want it to be portrait, like, you know, a little longer. Yeah. It won't be right. No, it's going to crop it a little funky. Yeah. So you need to, you need to decide which, you know, what size do you want it to be? Do you want it to be a square or do you want it to be mm-hmm. a portrait or do you want it to be a landscape size? And yes. then the rest of them will follow. Now I've, that's irked me several times where I've oh, had to go sure. back and, and do it again. Uh, but it is fun um, having Instagram. But now then let's talk about TikTok real quick because okay. you are making me get on TikTok. Yes. I, against your will, you are getting on TikTok. I love TikTok. I am chronically online with TikTok. Um, but it's just a great place, again, to build a community because that's all social media is about. Um, but one thing that is really fun about TikTok is that you get to interact with your followers a little bit more in depth than you can on Instagram. So, you know, it's video content. So you post a video and then people like comment, share it, do whatever. Um, But on those comments, you can respond with video content. So you can directly communicate with people with, you know, yourself and communicate through those comments and build a community that way. Yeah. And I, and if you're not on TikTok yet, be careful because it is very, (laughs) very addictive. Yes. And you can scroll and time flies by so quickly. And Mm -hmm. what I really love are the conspiracy theory ones. (laughs) Yes. And I mean, it's a lot of fun, you you know, um, stuff that really makes you think, I mean, not, Mm -hmm. not the normal conspiracy theory, like did we land on the moon or anything, but (laughs) like stuff, like stuff you never heard of before that all of a sudden it's about this, you know, this crime or, Mm -hmm. or something that Mandela effect. Yeah, the Mandela effect is mm-hmm. crazy. That's like a real thing. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I don't want to get into it too much, but just know once you get into it, you may not, you know, you yeah. may sit there for 30 minutes mm-hmm. watching these little three minute videos. Yeah. And so it can be, it can be fascinating. But as far as, so why should I get on TikTok for my RV world? There's already RVers on TikTok. So, you know, again, creating that community, like we've talked about multiple times, but also it's just fun. TikTok is a little bit more every day, a little more gritty. Um, Instagram is going to show a little bit more of that um, perfect lifestyle. Everything's amazing all the time, but TikTok is going to be a little more funny, a little more silly, a little mm-hmm. bit more. And where you can, you know, like you could, you know, I've seen where, you know, you share like you had a, you're changing a tire. Yeah. So it's not all sunsets and campfires. No, it's fun. You know, and like, like Instagram. People like to watch cleaning TikTok. And there's just so many realms you can get go down that you would never reach in Instagram. I know. I think you just showed me a, <laughs> a, a TikTok of somebody cleaning their RV roof off with a oh. leaf blower with like a million views or something oh, crazy it was like a million, that. It was a million likes. A million and likes. Fourth million views. Off of somebody just uh, mm-hmm. blowing the leaves off the top of their RV. Yeah. That's absolutely. insane. It's insane. Yeah. So... I may have to give that a whirl and yeah. see if I can get a million likes <laughs> too. 
But TikTok is fun. And, you know, with me, I do have an agenda. I mean, with with all of these things I do, I do have an agenda because we do have um, the YouTube channel that, Mm -hmm. you know, that um, we're trying to promote or whether it be Pagosa Supply Co. where we sell batteries and and, uh, cutting boards for RVs, things like that. So, I mean, there's there is an agenda. I don't normally use Instagram necessarily for that. Every once in a while, you'll see cutting board or a battery thing. But um, generally, it's just to share my RV RV life. Yeah. Okay. So if you have zero agenda, AKA any business interest or trying to get, you know, trying to grow a YouTube channel or Mm -hmm. a podcast like this. um, And I mean, it's really great just for your, either for your family or to Mm -hmm. grow community, but why else would you maybe want an Instagram? Honestly, I don't know why else. I mean, basically just building that community. If you're, you're obviously on Instagram, if you're wanting to start one, if you're listening to this, you're wanting to be a content creator. So you're wanting to build that community. So that's really the number one reason Mm -hmm. is just to create content that people want to interact with. Well, and I'll tell you the, uh, the funny thing is, uh, you know, like I said, I have a lot of companies, you know, I have four or five probably that are active, um, that we, that we deal with every day, um, some large, some small. Um, and so why do I take the time to make YouTube videos? Why do I take the time to do this or that? Um, and honestly, when we started RVing, I started making YouTube videos and content Mm -hmm. just so I would have something to do while I was RVing and to, and also so I could learn as I go. Cause, because, I, the best way for me to learn is to try to have to teach it. Yeah. And so if I have to learn about say Instagram, for example, like we're doing here, which I don't know that much about, but so what I, what I do is I do a podcast on it where I bring somebody like you in who knows how to do it. Well, I learn along the way, same thing with a YouTube channel. And so if you're in RVer, and you've got an iPhone even, I mean, you can film videos Oh, absolutely. and you can create content, start a little YouTube channel. I mean, even if nobody watches it, it's still something that you can go back mm-hmm. and watch and and remember and make memories. And basically, it's a video scrapbook. Yeah. And then who knows? Some all of a sudden you may hit hit something where people start really watching you. Yeah. And your subscriber count grows, and then the next thing you know, you've got a nice little following. And um, but yeah, that's why I did. That's why I do all of this stuff. It's so I have something to do while I RV, which is create content. Mm-hmm. Um, because I'm not. The person just wants to sit there out in my camp chair all day long or everything. But I, yeah, I take the time to try to make content and, um, and then it kind of morphed into, if I'm not in my RV, I still do it every week. <laughs> I still make a video every week, whether yeah. it's here in my office or what have you. Um, just cause it's fun watching it, watching it grow. Yeah. Okay. So we talked about TikTok. We talked about Instagram. Now Facebook, mm-hmm. I, you know, Facebook is where I get the least amount of, of anything with Pagosa Adventures. Yeah. Um, do you find that the same thing in all of the other all of our other accounts? Absolutely. Um, we don't have a ton of interaction on our Facebook. Um, I actually use Facebook mainly as a planning tool, and that's mainly because I do this for a living. So I use Facebook business to plan my content. I don't recommend that for everybody. It's not for everybody. Um, but yeah, we do not get a lot of interaction on Facebook, but we still post just to, you know, stay relevant, stay up to date. You know, just in case there are some out there that still use Facebook as their main source of media. Yeah, and I will say again, and and especially during COVID, what um because I was, I was helping with Facebook and everything as mm-hmm. well because people we were having to answer questions and yep. everything like that on in the other companies and. Um, I did notice people are a lot nastier on Facebook mm-hmm. than they are on Instagram. Absolutely, you hardly probably ever get any nasty comments on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I honestly never. It yeah, never but on Facebook. It happens way too often, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I would say still have, I mean, if you're a content creator, or if you're trying to grow an RV community, I'd still do Facebook. Yeah. And I, I now all I use Facebook for is just be a part of the groups, like the Leisure Travel Van Enthusiast mm-hmm. Group or the Leisure Travel Van, you know, help guide, yeah. you know, those sort of things. But I pretty much, that's the only thing I use Facebook for now. And, and like I said, we hardly get any interaction on Pagosa Adventures, whereas I get a lot more on YouTube and on, on Instagram. All right. So we talked about basically, is there anything else that we should know? Is there anything coming up that we should know? I mean, I wish I knew what was coming up as far as Instagram. Um, one big change that actually has happened recently is hashtags. So before you would, you know, 
post as many hashtags as you possibly could, which was 30. Um, but now they are saying that actually confuses the algorithm and you should only be doing five to seven hashtags per post. And they should be very specific to what you're posting about. Um, so that is something that has changed in the last you know week or so. And I have seen a huge change and shift in our like comments and likes and whatnot on our posts. Um, so yeah, so don't overload your hashtags. Be very specific and be very thoughtful on those. But other than that, nothing's really changed. Okay, and now should you explain a hashtag just in case? Oh, yeah. So a hashtag is just a, um, you know, the pound sign hashtag. And then you'll put, you know, for RV, you can put RV life, or RV living, things like that. And it just links all of those images together. So then it um, becomes like a hyperlink that you can click on. And then you can see every post that has had that hashtag on there. Yeah, for example, if you're interested in leisure travel vans, mm-hmm. you might look at hashtag leisure travel vans. Yeah. And then you'll see a curation yep. of everybody who has put that hashtag where you can go. If you're interested in finding people who have a leisure travel vans yeah. or, uh, you know, so that's, it's a way mm-hmm. for people to discover you. Yep. And so, um, so I need to go down to like five or seven hashtags because mm-hmm. I've been at 13 right now. That, I mean, that's not too bad, but I would try going lower. I've noticed that on our other Instagrams. I've gone lower and it's been better. Oh, okay. Which is interesting. And I use a, um, uh, uh, app you told me about, mm-hmm. which is called Flick. Yes. To get my hashtags. And yes. it, and it, what it does is it, you can put in a hashtag, then it'll give you the others that are popular mm-hmm. or what they think will also help yes. whatever you're doing. But there is a little subscription fee to that. But I, I, I do that. Uh, photo editing, anything they need to do with that? Um, honestly, Instagram is pretty good. You can do all of your editing through Instagram. Um, the only other one I would recommend because it's free is Adobe Lightroom. Um, it, they have free options, tons of, um, features in there that you can use, save presets, anything like that you use. Um, but honestly you can just edit it on the actual photo in your photo app or in Instagram. Cool. Yeah. Well, I think that pretty much sums it up and, yeah. um, but yeah, uh, follow me on at Pagosa adventures on for the RV. Mm-hmm. And if you want to see my dogs and stuff, it's at Brandon Hensley. Um, but and then put yours uh, down if you're on you if you're watching this on YouTube, put yours down in the comments, and so and then we'll take a look at yours as well. And so your Instagram, um, your Instagram, um, what do you call that? An Instagram handle. Handle. That's right. A handle at at something. Right. <laughs> Yep. All right. Well, I guess that does it for this week. I hope you enjoyed that content. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, and if you're on Apple Podcasts, do us a favor, scroll all the way down and there's a little rating system. Well, if you enjoyed it, hit the five stars. If you didn't uh, enjoy it, hit the five stars or just, you know, just keep to yourself, please. I'm kidding. You can, well, no, I'm not kidding. Don't, don't, don't hit do one star either. Just do five. Thank you. Anyway, well, that's it. Thanks for joining us, Shay, and we will see you next week.